off rep. Superstars Media. My people, my people, now how on a day? How on a day today, my people? This one at Biafra Sports Media. My people, no time for introduction. I want us to hear our brother, Maxwell Lockbara. <laughs> how he was narrating a very narrow escape from the hands of the DSS. He is now at the Heathrow Airport in the United Kingdom. And he was able to escape the DSS from the zoo airport. Unlike the so-called NLC president, Joe Ajero, who was whisked away from the Unnam Jazikiwe airport. <laughs> Nigeria is now a crime scene. A man who claimed he was fighting for democracy. Tinobu, under Nadeko, Naim don't be the man now when they persecute everybody. If they persecute freedom fighters, if they persecute journalists, if they even they persecute trade activists. My people, if you are ready, Make we hear the story from our brother. Make we hear the ordeal from Maxwell Okpara. How him they thank God. How him they bless God. Say him escape from the DSS. The lawless DSS from that zoo republic. Under a man you call your president. Under a man who said he was a champion for Nadeko. Under a man who said he was a champion for Nadeko. Today, those in Nadeko... Those pioneers of Nadeko, they should bury their head in shame. That one of their so-called pioneers, one of their so-called revered elder, is the one rubbishing democracy in a shithole country. Now you understand why Donald Trump called that zoo a shithole country. Most of you, you were angry. But today it is clear, you are not running democracy. My people... Make we sit back, relax. Hear the story of Maxwell Okbara as him breaking down. Listen. Just, uh, at the Hitler Airport here, London, uh, waiting to connect my flight to Mexico. Hold on now. He say him there now for the Heathrow Airport in London, waiting to connect in flight to Mexico. <laughs> Our brother, Maxwell Okbara, he found himself. He was able to navigate his way from the zoo airport and he has successfully got to the Heathrow airport in London and now he is about to connect a flight to Mexico Ngwa, oh yeah make we hear what in him they go do continue with the story Ngwa. for international bar conference of the Nigerian bar association hold on there he's going for an international bar conference an international Bar conference representing the Nigerian Zoo Bar Association. That's his plan for going to Mexico. Make we continue. Uh, I, I I was very lucky to uh, escape from being arrested by the DSSS of Nigeria. Hold on there. He was very very lucky from being oh my God. <laughs> ah, this zoo. Uh, ah, nah. Una shame they shame me. Nigeria shame they shame me. Ah God. Ah God. Which kind of shame be which kind of disgrace be this? Eh? This is baffling. If they baffle me. Oh <laughs> you A lawyer speaking this way. Even a lawyer is not free. In a damnable zoo republic. A lawyer has no hiding place. A lawyer they hide. Look at the way he wore a bright jacket. In psychology is to show say I have nothing to hide. I am wearing a bright cloth so that everybody can see me. They can spot me. It means I have nothing to hide. I can chawa. Those of you, if you are traveling to the Western world, this is a good psychology sometimes. Wear a very bright cloth. Cloth when they shine. A banana. So that when the customs then look you, they will say this one has no threats. Because the cloth went in the way now, a banana. <laughs> Good psychology. But if you are going, you are wearing black, black, black. The, the entire airport. They will stop you. They will control you. So that's one good psychology. If you are going on holiday, especially you for the first time from that zoo republic. Or a Biafran living for the first time to Bodo Yibo. I beg, make sure they wear bright clothes. 
a very vibrant, elegant cloth when they shine, shine. Make the cloth they shine, shine. No, wear black, black, black. Because to call a spade a spade, Oyebo go tell you, say, this one self, my first Oyebo girlfriend, when I come up with Oyebo, she told me a secret. She said this secret, be say, there is a slogan they have, Oyebo. Them say, when them talk, say, black man in a hoodie, run. Black man in a hoodie, run. It means a black man in a hoodie. Those cloth when you get um, hooded tops, where if you cover your face, if they see a black man when we are a hoodie to cover your face, they are advised to run. Talk less of a black man wearing black, black, black. If they fear them. So please, make sure they careful. If you are going to Bodo Yibo, take a cue from Maxwell Okpara. Wear something vibrant, something elegant, something that will bring out your prowess. Abanaya. <laughs> so he said here, let's take it back. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, I, I, I was very lucky to uh, escape from being arrested by the DSSS of Nigeria. He was very lucky from being arrested by the DSSS or DSS of that zoo called Nigeria. That shithole called Nigeria. He was very lucky to escape from the DSS. Let's continue. At the international airport, uh, at the inter oh, sorry, let me know. At the in Nigeria, because what is in Nigeria now is that uh, any activist or any opposition who is criticizing the government of uh, Nigeria, they will wait for you at the airport, especially when you are invited or you are going for international conference. They will pick you up. They are just like they you again. Hold on, there. Is it because what is raining now in that Zubi say any person when be activist, any person when they talk as an opposition over the government, anybody when they speak like say they have their own views, when they contrary to the views of the zoo government, if you find your way to Bodo Yibo, if you want to fly out of the country, if you find yourself at international airport, then go stop you, then go arrest you. The same way they did to Joe Ajero for the Anambra Abin Anam, the Kano Abin Anam, the Azikiwe International Airport. Ah, the zoo. Who not shame, they shame me. Those that believe in Nigeria, you have been captured. You have been captured. What you are practicing is not democracy. You have been captured. Nigeria is a captured contraption. Not even a state. To call you a captured state means I'm, I'm giving you the, you know, I'm giving you that level to make you assume you're a country or whatever. You are a captured contraption. A company when they talk, say, okay, they want to maximize profit and exploit their employees. Britain being the owner of the company, he has put some managers, some stooges to handle Nigeria, to manage Nigeria. And they are saying they want to exploit, they want to maximize profit. Where they pay you mega salary, they make you to work longer hours without food, no break. You are working from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., no break. A bim bawa or die there. We are hungry, die there. They, they do not send una. The manager that is controlling that zoo now, he is heartless. He is a billionaire. He has made money from Lagos, even though say all the taxation from Lagos came in most cases, so not all, but in most cases, it came from the businesses from the of the Biafrans doing business in Lagos. If not, I challenge you, show me another state in the southwest that they are making revenue like the one in Lagos. I challenge you. When they say, oh, Chakabam built the Lagos, he built Lagos, I was just laughing. Because you and I know say the reason why we they go for Lagos that the seaport, the seaport when they Lagos, it is sine qua non to the, the business fabrics of the Biafrans. We are into business now. That's why as an insult, as a slur, as a stereotype, they call us buying and selling. Buying and selling. The evil man, buying and selling. When Tidibu said, OB, OB, Peter, OB, they said buying and selling. Very, very shameful. Let's continue. I was lucky, I was lucky. I just arrived at Heathrow Airport. 
Hold on there. I was lucky I was not picked. I just arrived Heathrow Airport in London now. Waiting to connect my flight to Mexico. Look at the background. See how colorful Heathrow Airport is. See lights everywhere. Lightings everywhere. When they tell you say Nigeria is a shithole, you guys don't understand. Basic things. In the Western world, what they do is supply chain contracts. Everybody has a contract in the Western world. Those wingo make sure say they are cleaning the airport. They have their own contract. It is called supply chain. The person, when they clean the floor, there is a contract. Say every day you come to the airport, you clean the floor from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. or whatever. That contract is there. The day they fail to clean the floor, they will be sanctioned for a breach of contract. The same with the lightning. A company has been contracted to make sure, say, all the bulbs, they work. Any bulb, when they flicker, immediately they shake, it, they, they flash, like say, it won't die. They have less than one hour turn around to make sure, say, they replace that bulb. That one they contracted. You see, I'm, this is how it's done in the Western world. Everything they contracted. The bus, when go take you to the airport, they have been contracted, say, at this point in time, if it's 6 a.m., you must be there on the spot. If you come 6.05, you have breached the contract. And they will find you big money. The train, when they carry them, come. They carry them, they go. You have a contract. Say, by 7 a.m. on the dot, you must be at this train station to pick up customers. If you come 7.05, you don't breach the contract. There's a time agreement there. They might say, okay, there is a leeway, say, from 7 a.m. to 7.05. After 7.05, you have breached the contract, you will have to pay the company big amounts. That way, everything would they work like an engine. Because they know say they need to meet their task, their obligation, their terms to the contract. That's how it works in the Western world. No be magic, no be juju. But in your shithole country, now one man won't take all the billions to make money. When him don't win the contract, make money, he don't build everything, he they look fine, but under two months, light don't they flicker. Nepa don't take light. The floor is dirty. Your toilet, nobody is flushing it or washing it because there is no contractor assigned to that. Now the same government won't do everything. Because they want save money. That's not how it's done. A team must work. They call it system functioning. Like your watch. The way your watch, they work. There are some things when they spin to help the seconds. Some they spin to help the, the minutes. Some they spin to help the clock. That is how this thing works. Everything works for good. System thinking. You must think that way. Contract everything out. But in that shit whole country, now one man goes sit down, get all the money. Look at the background of this man. See how colorful Heathrow Airport is. I marvel sometimes. I just wonder. Say so these guys, why can't they replicate the same thing? No. Those that rule that zoo, their children are in the Western world. Those that rule that zoo, when they are sick, they come to the Western world for medication and the rest of them, for medical checkup. Why can't they go back to that zoo and replicate what they have seen? Why can't they do copy and paste, copy, copy, do expo as you did in your high school or university? Copy what you have seen in the Western world and replicate it. If you are stealing billions of dollars, use the money to build a state-of-the-art medical center in your shithole country. But they will say no because deep inside, you are not one people. You are a contraption. It's a doggy dog world. They want to steal as much as they could and send the money abroad. Because deep inside, they know they are not one. Mr. Maxwell Okpara, you're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. Say you made it at a time when the DSS did not see you. You're a lucky man. Let's continue. We are going to discuss the issue of democracy and I will use that opportunity to expose 
to what is going on in Nigeria, the impunity that is going on in Nigeria, the undemocratic government that is going on in Nigeria, the intimidation that is going on in Nigeria, above all, the kind of persecution mass and the color the leader of IPOV is passing in Nigeria. I'm going to explain all this. Good, good. He said he's, he's going to Mexico and he will use that opportunity. He will see it as a segue to explain and expose the ills happening in that zoo. The contraption. All the way they are treating people, especially our leader Nambekano. But my brother, with all due respect, I appreciate what you are saying. But the days of talking are done. We don't pass that stage of talking. All those good talk, good talk, good talk. We don't pass those days of talking. Because even right now, Joe Ajero, because he is a Biafran man, look at the way they are treating him. Being your NLC president, look at the way the zoo they are treating him. But when others were there, they did not treat them that way. Oshomale was there, or the rest of them, they were all there. They did not treat them this way, they are treating Joe Ajero. Because you Bia France need to understand, say, you have no business with that zoo called Nigeria. Our contracts don't expire. They don't love us, and we self no love them. To call a spade a spade. They don't love us, and we don't love them. It is time for us to know, say, our contract with that zoo republic don't finish. It don't expire. That's a fact. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let's continue. Listen. Taking off uh, tomorrow with an opening uh, ceremony, uh, with an opening ceremony, then by Monday, other programs will, will flow. I, your own Maxwell Opera, I belong to the Human Rights Committee of Nigeria of the International Bar Association, and I have a pro I have a, a paper to present here by Tuesday. Okay. Uh, see you then. I'll keep you posted. Good yeah. man, good man. Yeah, he's going to present the paper. You know, he's somebody who is doing well. I see the effort he's doing, you know. Kudos to him, more to his elbow. But with, with all due respect, I keep telling you, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and to God to God. Give what belongs to Nigeria to Nigeria and to Biafra to Biafra. Going forward, we should not attack our brothers when they are doing their legal things. They are lawyers in that zoo called Nigeria. So they can practice in that zoo called Nigeria. But going forward, the new slogan, the new mantra is, give what belongs to the zoo to the zoo and to Biafra to Biafra. If you want to practice and believe you are going out there to Mexico to discuss about, you know, <laughs> that zoo called Nigeria and what they do when it comes to, you know, disregarding and disobeying the rule of law, it's up to you, my brother. But we, the Biafran, so we have crossed that Rubicon. We don't pass that stage. We are saying no more time for discussing. The days of dialoguing is gone. When that pastor was saying, dialogue now, dialogue now, I see a young puppy. Dialogue now. That that was their, you know, their their last escape. That was their last chance to sit on the round table to dialogue. But instead, they were sending their military. They came with their Python dance. They came with different kind of stuff. Udoka and the rest of them to Biafra land. And going forward, they have now missed the biggest opportunity to do their so-called dialoguing. We don't pass that stage. So for now, for us, it is give belong, give what belongs to Nigeria to Nigeria and to Biafra to Biafra. Those that are going to take loan in the name, in the oil of Biafra, you are going to take loan when that time comes, when we get our nation from 2nd of December, we shall sit down with all those so-called, you know, people you've taken contracts with, loans with, your debtors. When they come to us, we go ask them to break down how much they claim we as Biafra we are owing being a new nation we shall ask them then we'll say okay go and ask that zoo called nigeria how much did they spend where are the proof of the fiscal policies and all those projects that the zoo did in biafra land they will have nothing to show which means going forward we shall not pay any dime we shall only pay the dime the only money we will not say they really spent in biafra land but for us now, the mantra, the slogan is give what belongs to Nigeria to Nigeria and to Biafra to Biafra. Because the die is cast. We are going home. We are going home. From the 2nd of December, we are going home. To God be the glory. From me, from here, for now, 
I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I remain yours truly, Biafra, Superstars Media. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, yeah, Biafra, Biafra. Oh, uh, yeah, Superstar Media. Oh, uh, tell me about Biafra. We going back to the motherland. Tell me about Biafra. I wanna know. Tell me about Biafra. We going back to the motherland. Tell me about Biafra, Biafra. I wanna know. We going back to the land. We going back to the motherland. Oh. Uh. Biafra, Biafra. Tell me about Biafra. We going back to the land. Tell me about Biafra. We going back to the motherland. Tell me about Biafra, Biafra. Tell me about Biafra. We going 